Welcome to a new video. So in this video, we'll be learning how to set up a iPhone 6s bending simulation using Ansys Workbench. So to begin with, open Ansys Workbench, select Static Structural from the Analysis System, rename it as iPhone Bending, and right click on the engineering data to add the materials required. Click on the engineering data sources and select General Materials to add Polyethylene, and then again click on General Nonlinear Materials. and select aluminum alloy nonlinear after selecting all the materials click on the engineering data sources and right click on polyethylene click duplicate to define the properties for glass now we are going to make certain changes in the material properties here so that it re closely represents that of glass so change the density to 2520 kg per meter cube and the ink modulus to 7.2 e power 10 poison ratio 2.2 and the tensile yield strength to 2.5 e per 8 input the same for compressive yield strength change the tensile ultimate strength to 4.6 e per 8 and that's it you can close the engineering data now now right click on geometry click import to import the model file This is the model file. Uh, this will be shared with you to practice the exercise. After importing the model, click on the geometry and, and select Edit Geometry to open Space Claim. Okay, so this particular model here has more number of faces than that allowed for a for a geometry to be loaded in academic version. But I'll be using the same geometry here. When I share this particular model with you, I'm going to merge certain faces and reduce. the number of total number of faces for you to be able to import this particular model in academic version so let me demonstrate on how i will be reducing the number of faces just select all these faces here and navigate to the repair option here select the merge faces and click okay that's it here you can see now the all the four faces were merged into one similarly i'll select several faces here and convert them into one single face and thus reducing the total number of faces for this geometry so that being said now let's uh, hide all the components of this particular geometry and let's say i'm unhiding only one part as you can see this is the display of the iphone and it looks exactly the same as the real iphone's uh, display now let's click on the frame so this is the aluminum frame that is going to enclose the in internal parts as well as the display now for the third part we have this interior which is going to be represented by this lump here and we are going to consider this as since the interior of the iphone will consist of the motherboard and other components electronic components we are going to generalize it as one solid surface and we are going to assign a polyethylene material to this particular geometry and if you look at the model as a whole we are going to bend this iphone in such a way that these two fingers will be pushing the iphone in this direction while all the fingers which are on top of the iphone will need to hold still until the forces uh, imposed by the pushing finger is imparted into the iphone so here these two will be translating all the other fingers are going to be stationary now close space claim and click on the model here and select edit wait for the mechanical module to open up All right wait for the geometry to be loaded up in the graphical user interface Okay now that uh, the model is imported click on the geometry here and expand the selection rename the parts as display frame inside and the other are going to be fingers but this will be the pushing fingers so i'll rename this as pushing fingers while the others are just fingers uh, after renaming them select the display and assign glass as the material similarly select the frame and assign aluminum alloy as the material now for the insides assign polyethylene now select all the fingers
except for this pushing finger and make the stiffness behavior as rigid okay once you do that your geometry should look something like this and now that we have uh, renamed and defined all the materials let's proceed to looking at the contacts you can see there are several default contacts that have been directed now there are certain contacts which have this question mark symbol before them let's click on one of such contacts so it seems like it's the contact defined between these two fingers which we are not interested in so select these two contact and delete them now select all the other contacts and right click rename based on definition unselect the display to frame contact alone and change the contact pair for the other contacts as frictionless so since the frame is going to be fixed with the display we define it as bonded while the others are all frictional con frictionless contacts now that we have defined the contacts let's go ahead and define the fixed joint for all these fingers on the top so we do that by selecting one face of the finger right click and hide all other bodies this way we'll be isolating one particular finger now click on the connection here select the fixed joint click on the scope use the box select option select all the faces of the finger and click apply similarly do it for all the other fingers now that we have defined the fixed joint for this particular finger right click show all bodies revert back to single select select one face of the other finger click hide all other bodies and now select this joint here click on the fixer and then use the box select select all the faces of the finger and click apply 